Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Talk Training Web Series. Today, I'll be demonstrating a feature on how to create a room reservation portal to handle reservations for five meeting locations, right? What I intend to do in this demonstration is to create five different locations. That's Atlanta, Boston, Jacksonville, Houston, and New York. And then I'm going to create some room services like, you know, um, kind of uh, requirements within the meeting room, something like a projector or sound systems, refreshment, brunch, lunch or dinner, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list and I'm going to incorporate with this um, reservation portal. I mean, the calendar is what I'm going to create, right? So um, I'm going to have five different locations. I'm going to turn them to separate calendars, right? And I'm just going to create one calendar item list and I'm going to create it as a template. And then I'm going to add all different calendars to one calendar room reservation portal, something that I've created over here. I'm going to go to site contents. Let's go ahead and add a list, right? Just going to add a custom list. So I'm going to call it meeting room services, right? Just gonna open this list. I'm gonna do a bulk edit, so it's easier for me to add, right? Right, projector, or speakers. All right, so now I have six different options here. Okay, I'm just make it that way. Perfect, I'm just gonna stop editing this list. Okay, so now I have created a meeting room services list, which I can use as a custom field within my um, calendar, right? So I need to have uh, different locations and I'm gonna add this custom meeting room services field to the add a meeting window, right? Now the next thing what I need to do is, I'm gonna go back to my page right i'm going to create again go back to site contents this time i'm going to create a calendar so i'm going to search for calendar here you go okay so what should i call it first so i'm going to call it atlanta all right now I need to go to the calendar again Hey, you. So this is how a SharePoint calendar looks like. Now, this is what we'll be using to log in the meetings. Now, I need to add a custom field, right? Remember, I spoke about that. So go to calendar, the ribbon in the top, click on set list settings. So what I need to do is I'll go scroll down a bit. Then I add, I click on create a column. Okay, so this is the column name, and then I need to select on look up the information already on the site, right? And then I search for the list. So it's meeting room services. That's the list that I need to pick up the value and need to fetch the values from title. That's the field that we need to fetch up the values. Also, I can select allow multiple values because you know, um, you know, people might opt for projector sound systems and you know lunch or dinner whatever they want right so it requires a multiple value and then that's it i select okay perfect so i go back to my calendar and let's see if it works right so i just i'm just going to select one of the dates and you know you can't even select multiple dates right you just have to drag and drop that's it so i'm going to select the date Today's day, and yeah, and I'll look for the customer field. So here you go. So see here, you can select your meeting room services. This is the custom field that we have added, so it's it's reflecting on the calendar. So that's fantastic, great. Okay, now what I need to do next is to create a template out of it, so that I can create different meeting locations, right? So I click on again. I go to list settings. 
and then I click on save list as a template. Just gonna copy this. Okay, not very relevant, but it's okay. Click on okay. Now it says, okay, um, room reservation board operation completed successfully. The template has been successfully saved to the template gallery. So next time when you have to click on add an app, just search for room reservation, something like that. And then it should be available for you to add easily, right? So I'm just gonna go back to my portal, home portal here, right? And then again, go back to site's contents. I'm gonna click on add an app. And click on search. So it says meeting room locations. So this is what you need to add. Now I need to give it a name. So the first one is Atlanta. Now next I'm gonna add Boston. Okay, so I'm just gonna add more. So just search for meeting room again. And now I'm gonna add Jacksonville. Next one will be Houston. And then finally, New York. Great, so now I have all my calendars over here. If you see here, it's Atlanta, Boston, Houston, Jacksonville, and New York, right? So I'm gonna go to my first calendar, what I've added now, so that's Atlanta, right? Now what I need to do is the next step is to add overlays, right? I need to add all these different calendars that I've created right now, I need to add them into a single interface. So what I can do is, I've gone to the first calendar that I've created, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go to the calendars ribbon over here, and I can see calendars overlay, right? Click on that, and then I can add my calendars. Simple. Okay, and then I can give it a color. And then I click on resolve. So it needs to fetch what are the lists that's available. Okay, great. So I have Boston. The list view has to be calendar, and then it has to always show, right? So don't forget to take on this. Press OK. Keep adding the rest of the calendars. This time I'll give it a blue color. Okay, so I need to add one more, that's New York. Let's give it a purple color. Click on Resolve, and then select New York. Press OK, and that's it, you're done. You need to go back to my old calendar. Here you go, now you have different colors. Atlanta, Boston, Jacksonville, Houston, and New York, right? Now, if I can go ahead and add Vent for Atlanta, so I'm just gonna click on Add. So the dates, the categories meeting, and I would require a projector and refreshments, that's it. And then click on Save. So I have this meeting schedule for Atlanta. I'm going back to New York, right? I'm gonna add meetings over here too. I'm 
meeting. Again, I will require refreshments, projector, yeah, sound systems, right? Click on save. Here you go. Now I go back to my old calendar. You can see different colors, right? So whatever events that I'm gonna add on each location is gonna pop up on the single screen. And it's easier for users to differentiate what event is happening in which location, right? So let's say if I wanna click on team meeting, it's gonna show up over here. So these are the meeting room services. These are the details. Easy, isn't that? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these from here. I'm gonna rename this as room reservation. Perfect, so I just have saved it over here. Let's go back to the home portal. As you see here, I have room reservation added to my site navigation. So just have to click it over here and it goes to my calendar. Okay, there's a great tip uh, I wanted to discuss as well. So now you have all your events or meetings scheduled on different locations, right? So what are you gonna do? If you can sync the whole calendar to your Outlook. So all you need to do is click on calendar, click on connect to Outlook, and then please know that you need to have an offline Outlook, right? It gets synced to it. Just type in your Office 365 credentials and then it's good to go. It gets synced to your Outlook. And you can also transfer events that's in your Outlook back to this calendar as well. So it works vice versa. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's easier to configure, right? It's, it's a very interesting feature and I, I'm pretty sure you can make a lot of use of it. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Talk365, and I'll be coming up with more and more training tutorials. So stay tuned. Have a great day.